of the art. The red panda. This is a rare and mysterious creature with only a few thousand left in the wild. But exactly how many? Nobody knows for sure. Well, one thing's for sure, and there are no questions about this. The red panda is one cute creature. The mountains of southwestern China have high peaks and vast forests that are home to some of the world's rarest mammals. So we're hiking up the mountain, hoping to get an up-close view of one of the rarest, what early scientists called Allurus fulgens, meaning shining or fire cat, commonly known today as the red panda. <laughs> <laughs> This is it, the home of the red panda. Red pandas live high up in altitudes of 2,000 to 4,800 meters. They love the even moderate temperatures of the mountains. And since these mountain ranges extend through Asia, red pandas can be found from the highlands of Sichuan and Yunnan, China, to the elevated tropical forests of northern Myanmar, to the great Himalayas of Nepal. In fact, Recent genetic studies indicate that red pandas have at least two species, the Himalayan red panda with that really white face, and the Chinese red panda with its redder face and more obvious tail rings. There. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, moving this way. Wow, pretty fast. <laughs> Whoa, look at them move through the trees. They are so sure-footed up there. <laughs> they make it look easy. Nice and smooth, using their bushy tails to balance on the branches. And he goes up and down head first. <laughs> These red pandas really are great tree climbers. Whoa, and playful too. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Whoa, pounce. Oh yeah, they're using their claws. Oh, they're having fun. Look at them, Whoa, they're up. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, the jump and roll. Oh, and check out those noses. Red pandas use their sense of smell to find food, but also to communicate with each other. They pick up smells left by other red pandas. That one is scent arcing now. Kind of like skunks, they have scent producing glands at the base of their tails. By rubbing those glands, they release scented fluids. Those are messages to possible mates, or they can be used to say to other red pandas, hey, back off, this is my forest. Oh, look at that, off they go. That's all right, Chris. There's a place nearby where we can help out and get an even closer look at red pandas. Hey up there. How you doing, buddy? Hi. Now <laughs> this is a cool animal that you really want to get a close-up look at. Yeah, they are so cute with those really white whiskers. And look at how he can hold things really well with his paw. Now red pandas, they mostly eat bamboo but they also eat fruit and holding it just like a giant panda. Even though the two aren't related, they both have that extra wrist bone, that extended wrist bone that acts like a thumb. It's a special feature found only in these two pandas and no other kind of bear. You see, in order to feed themselves, these pandas need to hold, break, and strip tough bamboo stalks and leaves. How do they do it? It's all because of that special panda's thumb. Normally bears have the five fingers like we do, right? But they don't have the opposable thumb like we do. So they can't grab things as well as we can. But with the panda's thumb with an enlarged wrist bone, they can wrap it around and hold something in there almost like they have a thumb. He'll eat mainly bamboo, but sometimes he eats fruits and insects and bird eggs and lizards. <laughs> Is that good? What a great face. See that pattern? White muscle, white cheeks, white over the eyes, and white around the ears. 
That's for species recognition. They can recognize each other in the trees. Oh, what about the tail? Beautiful tail, kind of striped like a raccoon, but bright orange and then a duller orange. Ah, this tail. I can see why people thought they were related to raccoons. See the stripes on the tail there? Red pandas were first classified as relatives to raccoons in the Proxionidae family. But with DNA tests, we now know red pandas are in their very own family, Elluridae. They are a unique species in the creature world. I mean, check out that rust-colored fur with black underneath and those semi-retractable claws. They're not like cat claws, which are fully retractable. What they are is they kind of sit up on top of the toes. You can see right there. But when a red panda needs to grab, boom, the claws come out, grabbing onto the branch. These red pandas are fantastic tree climbers. That's for sure. Really good in the trees. There he goes. Great sense of balance when they walk along the branches. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got the tail in my face. Very soft tail. <laughs> They are such a gentle, calm creature. And definitely one of the cutest. But they're also very rare, and their numbers are declining. Only a few thousand red pandas survive in the wild. So it's important that critical mountain habitats be protected in a way that these cute red pandas can thrive. They're a really important creature that we've got to take care of.